I was in California, you were in Lagos. And on our knees, he was crying on the phone. And I was crying in California on my knees, and I could hear him crying on the phone. Hello, my beautiful viewers. Welcome back to my channel. Agapin TV is still your favorite TV. The pleasure is mine to have you here today, guys. Kindly get seated and watch the video for today. Please, if this is your first time coming to my channel, don't hesitate to hit the subscribe button. And you can also hit the um, notification bell so you get to see our videos when we share. Alright, quickly guys, in the addition of today's video, we have the man of God, highly esteemed man of God, Reverend Dr. Chris and um, um, Pastor Benny Him. Guys, in the just concluded healing stream, it was powerful, I must say. These both uh, men went ahead to share things about themselves. But then we'll start with Pastor Chris sharing what he um what he has known about um pastor benny him kindly stay tuned after which we listen to um, pastor benny him stay tuned guys i'll be right back oh, we're gonna pray now the global day of prayer is this time is special think about it the global day of prayer our next global day of prayer is saturday November 30th it's supposed to be first when we get into December but the first week of December is like inside lots of things so Saturday 30th of November into first of December it's a global day of prayer Saturday and Sunday and you know that Sunday will also be our normal fasting and praying and what communion service and the next day we're reaching out the whole world so that's gonna be glorious gonna be glorious the day after that outreach is your birthday <laughs> please please don't remind me don't remind me when you're 71, you don't want to be reminded. <laughs> Glory your, be to your God. birthday is on the seventh, <laughs> and you're still young. <laughs> Glory be to God. We're going to pray for your families right now, and Pastor Benny. Let me thank you very specially. I loved it. I really loved it. I'm so glad that you're here. I don't think uh, most people understand that they are actually living in prophecy. See, what you saw this weekend was what God already said will happen years ago. I can't tell you all that story tonight, but you were living in this moment. In God's own prophetic timeline Amen. so I really want to thank you for the impact that you have made in our lives in my life and for all of us and I I was just so happy to have you at the healing streams apart from the prophetic part of it he was the one that actually got me doing the healing streams i'll tell you yes because during the uh, 2020 saga the debacle covid debacle so i got on their case you know those people i got on their case and um, i really wanted to make sure i stayed focused dealing with it until we got rid of covid and one day he called me because i had not been doing the healing school i'd suspended the healing school so he said to me why don't you do this online i said i'm i'm not really ready for it i said because i i've got something i want to really address first so he said but you can do this i said 
Okay. So I called Pastor Diola, who is the director of the healing school. Yeah. So I said to I said to her, here's what you do. You go ahead and do it. I I have matters to settle. Yeah, because we got to get our schools back. We got to get our streets back. Got to get our cities back. And um, I was focused on that. So she started the healing streams with Reverend Tom. In fact, that's, they started it. So they did the first one. And then, how many people attended the first one? It was about, about 200 million people. I was stunned. I was, I was surprised. I said, 200 million. Remember, we had just come from doing something with a whole lot of people, 3 billion, when we did the Global Day of Prayer. 3 billion people around the world. That's Benny and I. 3 billion people. So when they started the, the healing streams, I, I wasn't a part of it. I just let them do it. So they did the first one. 200 million people. I was amazed. Then they did the second one. 1.5 billion people. So when I did the second one and we saw 1.5 billion people, I said, what in the world? The world was hungry. So I, I joined them in the third one. <laughs> and by then I called Pastor Betty. I said, I, I'm, I'm ready now. I'm <laughs> so but he was sharing with me not just because something was nice it was the spirit of god you know you don't do such things except by the holy spirit it was because that was the holy spirit speaking and so we went ahead doing what god asked us to do and i wanted him to see what was going on healing streams the biggest global crusade in the world there's nothing like it so billions of people all over the world, every nation under heaven. I'm glad I came. Thank you, sir. And Thank I can you. tell you, honestly, you, I, I, I sensed the Lord so powerfully here. And I was telling Pastor Chris the first night, I actually had a vision of the Lord here on the platform. And I was quite shaken by it. And, uh, you know, in, in, in the crusades that I held and still hold, you know, I like to worship first and so on and preach. So when he when he told me that he prays for the people first, you know, I'm thinking, well, I don't know if I can do that. Because I like to worship a lot, you know. So what, but then when we came out, as the Lord just took over in such a powerful way, and I sensed this wonderful presence, and uh, I had a vision of the Lord here, and just, you know, I was in, I was like right in. You know, I, I think you can tell we're really close. And uh, he got me this suit. <laughs> I'll tell you what happened, I'll tell you what happened. He said, I want you to wear your white suit. I said, well, my suits are old. And I don't have time to get one because it takes time to get them fixed up. He said, I'll get them. And I had no idea what they would look like. So I called them on the phone. I said, well, this was like a few days before. I said, if you don't have those suits, I may have to have to borrow one of your robes. <laughs> that nice golden yellow robe you wear. I said, Can you imagine me with a robe like this? So when I came here on, uh, well, the first night, uh, he came, or one of these people came with the, uh, with the suitcase, and Pastor Chris was there, and when I opened the, the, when we opened the suitcase, most beautiful suits, and they fit on me real nice. And, and I said, well, you know, I'm going to Uganda in January for a big crusade, so I'm going to take them with me. So, finally I have suits I can wear, because all the ones are kind of ancient. Thank you, sir. Yeah. 
So we need to pray now for yes, sir. For the families. <laughs> <laughs> I love this man a lot. And listen, listen. I love you, sir. Are you going to behave? You need to pray for him. Because, look, look, you know, I have been in ministry. It'll be 50 years this year for me. And, in fact, this December 7th is 50 years. I can't believe it. And in 50 years, I've never met anyone like him. No, I'm serious. I've never met anyone like him. He's the most loving and generous man I've ever met. That's just a fact. That really is a fact. And he, he's he, like full of love. That's all there is. It's full of love. And he loves the Lord so much. And, and you see it. And by the way, is there any way uh, for, the prim, for the prayer meeting, the choir in Houston can do that Holy Lamb of God song? That was powerful. I'm telling you... I, I was like holding back the tears. That was powerful. You sang two songs tonight. I want them to sing over, the, over there. Holy Lamb of God. And there was another one. I just can't remember the name. But it was so powerful. And the one on the Holy Spirit. Oh, dear goodness. Last night. So if someone can help me remember those songs, maybe uh, then the choir can do that in Houston. All right. But I, just one, one more thing. I know he... He doesn't like me saying these things about him. But he's a man of love. And, and you know, we as pastors and ministers, uh, not, every, not everyone likes us, you know. But that's just, it, it just comes with it. It, is, it. it just comes with it. So when they say all men of evil against you rejoice, you know. But I've gotten to know Pastor Chris, I think, better than most people. Truly, and I and I, I, we met in 2016, and since then, when I got on my knees to pray with him, I was in California, you were in Lagos, and on our knees, he was crying on the phone, and I was crying in California on my knees, and I could hear him crying on the phone. The Lord was so with us as we prayed, and every time we prayed together. It's just the same thing. This man loves Jesus with all of his heart. That's it. And that's what makes him so special to all of us. So how many promise to pray for him? And his family, Sharon and Charlene. And the beautiful two now, two grandchildren. I just saw the picture. Of, of the of the newest grandbaby and, and Phil yeah Philip showed me the picture you're a blessed man thank you sir now next Philip you have to work on a boy now <laughs> you have to pray you pray the way to really do it is get on your knees with your wife and ask God for a boy so you've had two girls now but you need to get a son now. And so we want to see Pastor Chris with a grandson. And the people said, Amen. 